This looks like a Neo Geo game, doesn't it? This is Androdonos. Androdonos 2 on the Nintendo Switch. I believe it's also been released on the PC. It can be downloaded on Steam. But this cartridge that I'm playing on was provided by the Maryland Library System. All you 1990s gamer babies, you retro gamer babies, might remember this game on the Neo Geo. I want to say it came out in like the early to mid 1990s. I think around 93, maybe 94. Uh, it was a game, a side scrolling shooter, that came out after Last Resort, which is a game that I played on this channel, or I probably tried to play it on this channel, and the audio is out of sync. But Last Resort was sort of a. So it, was, it wasn't, let's put it this way, it wasn't very well optimized. It had a lot of slowdown, which you don't really want in a Neo Geo game, but if you've played Metal Slug, you know what I'm talking about. That was a game that was trying to do like an R-type thing. Andrew, Andrew Dono seems to be doing kind of an axle thing, if you can believe that. At least the sequel does. The original game, I remember being sort of a, a sort of a cartoony, um, I remember it sort of being a cartoony side-scrolling shooter, but I wasn't familiar with a lot of the mechanics because I never got a chance to play it or even see it in action. I did read a couple of reviews, which were above average, but the, in fact, in a time when Neo Geo was just cranking out fighting games, the idea of a game like this on the Neo Geo was kind of quaint. But the problem that the reviewers had at the time was that... What was his name? Chris Bionek and Andy... Eddie were trying to do sort of a live commentary, if you will. They were playing the game while record, while breaking out a tape recorder so they could record their commentary while they were playing it. And they said at the time, this might be the first uh, video game review ever done using live commentary. Well, now you have an entire channel with 500, you have 500 hours worth of video game live stream commentary on this channel. <laughs> So it's all come full circle, right? In the year 2023, it's all come back. But let's actually play this game. Fair warning, there is no volume slider in this game. So I'm gonna have to cut the I'm gonna have to cut the game audio in and out so I can hear myself think while I try to set up the uh, mechanics that the game has. This game did not come with an instruction manual, so we're gonna have to play this game the old-fashioned way, which is going in blind. Just kind of hope we can figure it out like an arcade game from back in the day. But what I've been able, I played this game for about 20 minutes before recording the commentary. So what I have been able to figure out so far is that it kind of has a axle type system where you can switch between the three weapons you're carrying. I believe you can level them up, but you couldn't do. You can power up your weapons in this game, which you couldn't do in axle But I don't know how this hyper shot system works, and that's not terribly helpful, let's be honest. I'm also not a fan of the button layout here, but there's only two I there's only two buttons you need to worry about. So you have the regular shot, which has an auto fire, thank god. The original arcade game did not. But this sequel does have auto fire of a type. It might be full auto fire. Which makes this game arguably way more playable than the Neo Geo game was, because you don't have to worry about your arm falling off trying to keep up with the action in this game. But we'll worry about that later. We'll play with we'll play with nine credits. Difficulty this is the default difficulty level. There's a tourist mode, I guess. You know, an easy mode button. Imagine that. And there's an Android button for all you hardcores out there, all you shoom up junkies who want to <laughs> test your metal, I suppose. I'm old. I need auto fire. So we'll worry about hard mode later if it becomes a problem. There's a stage select option. Of course, we haven't unlocked the first stage yet, so let's just do the normal run. Like I said, I'll cut the game audio out here and there so we can kind of make sense of what's happening on screen. Then I'll bring it back once I set things up. But again, I try to make my videos somewhat self-contained. I don't want to do what a lot of people do, which is just doing live streams of games and not putting them in some reasonable context. You can follow along. My test, my test for games like this is always... If I watch this video five years from now, can I remind myself how to play the game by explaining how it works? Basically speaking. Again, it's too bad this game didn't come with a manual or anything, but we'll see how it goes. We'll make it work.
That didn't explain as much as I would have liked. That didn't explain as much as I would have liked. What are you going to do? So apparently what I gleaned from that is that you power up weapons by picking up those power ups, but you can only power up the weapon that you've actually equipped. Use the L and the R buttons to switch between the three weapons at the top of the screen right there. Got a fin tail right here. Uh, which has automatic missiles that fire downward, I guess. Have a rear have a rear shot right here. Switch up again. And we have the homing guns. Or these home these are homing missiles, okay. And we leveled up the homing guns. They're slow, but they work. Switch. And we have our wave gun. Which has ah, side lasers. Level that up. Which gives me a gives me an extra beam in front, so that's cool. Well, we have uh, bits above and below us, like an R type. That's cool. Nice big bullets. That helps. And I wonder if those. Uh, well, I wonder if those bits actually uh, can damage enemies, like an R type. So, what do we prefer? Ow. Yeah, I, I don't want to continue, actually. Let's see where we end up. Okay, so we used up one of our credits. You, know, you respawn right on the dot. You respawn right where you died, so that's cool. I don't like this gun. Well, I pressed the hyper shot. Ow! <laughs> well, I'm off to a roaring start. Uh, what are those blue balls at the bottom of the screen? I guess I do need the rear gun right now. Ah, careful. Pretty sure I saw you in R-Type 3. Ah! Guess I'll have to take another L. I think I just need to... Uh, that's the hyper shot for this gun. Don't know when it recharges, but we'll see how it goes. Ah! That f I ran right to the ground, didn't I? Maybe that's the problem. Switch. How does this hyper gun look? Nice. So it's a temporary boost. Okay. So I guess we'll come back to this later. Again, I'm just trying to establish the basics here so I can see what's up. So full forward fire. Maybe the homing gun will be more useful here. I'm not sure. I don't even know how. I don't even know how strong the uh, bullets are. Oh, so you can lock in those uh, bits above and below you, depending on the weapon you've equipped. And yeah, full forward fire shields and rear shields with a rear gun. And we have the hyper gun for the homing right here. For the homing missiles, I guess. Again, I don't know how to describe these weapons. So we'll just go by the M and the U you see at the top of the screen there. Okay, I think I got them. I guess I would start from the beginning. We're just doing a research stream here. So now that I've established the basics, let's see. Yeah, we got a clear bonus, whatever that even means. So we'll crank the music back up so you can see what's going on. Oh, I can level up one of my guns. Okay. How do you level up the missiles? Okay.
the L after the next life is lost. We took the L there because we want to start over from the beginning. I took the L there because I want to start over. So I took the L there because I wanted to start over from the beginning. Do a more natural run. So we'll see how it goes. Again, I wish there were better, a better tutorial that explained all these different power-up levels that are going on. We'll see how it goes. I want to say Andro Donos, the original game was made by uh, Alpha Denshi, you know, the folks behind, what was it, the folks behind Magical Lord and Ninja Combat. I think they did a bunch of, uh, they did a bunch of Neo Geo games that SNK didn't work on. That's a very short clip. That's not very helpful. But again, it gives you some idea about what the vibe of the game is. It's a Neo Geo game, or it's a sequel to a Neo Geo game that had kind of a similar art style. It's like, it looked kind of like a cute em up in a way. Like it wasn't as hard edged as like last as Last Resort was with the with the you know the sort of dark city nightscape. This is a much brighter. It looks like a PC Engine game. It's a much brighter looking game. Yeah, these clips aren't long enough, so we'll start over from the beginning. And now the stage select has been working, but if I were to play this game normally, I would play and I would play through the entire first stage until I can clear it without losing a life, or without or without losing a credit. Let's put it that way. So ideally, doing a stage select would make more sense. You can practice each individual stage, and then work on them so that you could get through all of them in one credit. It takes a while, but the idea is that it's easier to practice if you don't have to do the repetition of going through a linear progression every single time. So I like the idea of having a stage select, because when you unlock a stage, you can just jump right to it. I love that. I think every video game should do that if you're going this retro style, frankly. Because if you want people to do a full run, have them do a full run later. Give them the opportunity to practice these harder stages. Get around to that.
Again, I wish there were more. I wish there were volume sliders here. I don't know why they're not doing it. But I wanted to see the default difficulty level, and for now, it seems manageable. We'll see how it gets later. It seems manageable now. The auto fire is good. I'm glad they have auto fire. At the top of the screen, I don't know what the word M and U mean. I want to say the M stands for missile. The U might stand for the shields, but I don't know. But the S stands for the weapon you're using. But I kind of wish they were more detailed about that. Going for some 80s synth vibes here in the opening. It sounds kind of like a Sega CD soundtrack in a way. Like something, uh, like a B-tier Sakuraba soundtrack from Final Zone 2 or something. 
which is good if you're into that vibe. I mean, I prefer I prefer PS1 era Sakuraba, but that's just me. <laughs> so long as you know what kind of game you're in for. So again, the M probably stands for the missiles. I think the U stands for the shield. These are the weapons you can choose from. Uh, this looks to be a regular gun. This looks to be a rear fire gun. This is a lightning gun that has a W shape. And this is a spread gun with two or three uh, spread projectiles, I guess. This is a wider range on the spread. This is a narrower range on the spread. That's what it looks like is going on here. And that's the missile, and that seems to be the shield. And depending on the weapon you've chosen, the shields are either rotate. I think there are, I think there are side shields here, above and below you. I think the shields rotate here. Yeah, I don't remember, but depending on the layout, the, the shields have a different behavior, which I think is kind of a nice touch. Now, you can't throw your shields, though. That would be nice, but whatever. Oh. I can level up twice. Yep, rolling shield. Yeah, the rolling shield. Side shield. Ah! 
came out of nowhere. Well, wow. Five guns roll down. That ah, careful. All the projectiles disappear every time I leave the lawn. Got it. So I think all the projectiles disappear every time my ship respawns. Which is not a complaint. So I think my, my M and U power-up levels are preserved every time I respawn. But these weapons lose, they lose one level of power every time I die, I think. Which is worth noting, so if I'm powering these up, these power-ups are preserved. So I think the U is for the shields, and the M is for the missiles. The problem is that the shields could disappear. I don't know, I maybe they only take a certain number of hits, and then I can't get them back unless I pick up a power-up to replace them, I guess. And I think those floating power-ups change between M and U every second or two. So you have to pick it up with the right letter up here, or something like that. Okay, so what am I powering up? Uh, that's my rear gun. That's my front, fr that's my front fire lasers. My rear lasers. My lightning gun. And my tight spread. Let's do this. Okay. And I like the first two levels of me. So we'll end the video after this. Yeah. Music like deep fear, Chris Hulsbeck, Hurricane. It's okay. Ow! Jeez. Ow! Jeez. Got hard in a hurry, didn't it? Ow! Okay, so recharge determines when I can unleash the fire. Okay, so recharge determines when I can really fire. Did my laser go down a level? Just need to recharge. Okay, so until it recharges, I, my laser goes down a level. Ow! I don't have any shield. Ow!
Careful. Make it to level four. That one level took most of my credits. It took most of my credits, though. Just sad. Andro Dunos Resurrection, huh? <laughs> Is that what we're doing now? Oh well. Yeah, this game seems fine. I just have to like practice a bit more. So we'll probably play more of this game later. But I do like the ability to do a stage to left. That's good. So I recorded this audio with my Skull Candy earbuds into the audio splitter with the USB-C connector from the J5 Create capture device at 60 frames a second using my quad-core Windows 10 laptop capturing this footage at 60 frames a second at 720p using the Windows 10 camera app. Let the music play us out, I guess. <laughs> 